What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on Rise of Kingdoms and we're going to be maxing out our Lohar. That's right guys, I finally, after all this time, got enough sculptures to max out my Lohar. We'll talk about that in a second, but before we do, today's video is being sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms and if you guys want to download this game and check it out for yourself, there'll be a link down there in the description so that you guys can go ahead and download on your favorite device, whether it be uh, an Android device or an uh, Apple device or whatever works for you guys. So check out those links down there in the description. So Lohar let's check him out and uh see why he's so important to max and we will also be opening up uh plenty of chests here guys we got 55 total golden chests we're going to be opening up trying to max out a couple other commanders as well so uh this will be our third purple uh i would call him epic purple uh commander maxed out so lohar is really really important really really useful uh for taking out barbarians and helping level up your commanders if we take a look at his skills here uh we see he has a direct damage factor and a healing factor on that first ability up to 450 450 and then he does bonus damage to barbarians by 35 percent so making him super effective against those barbarians but this i think this might be the most important skill for him as he gives you an extra experience boost for all commanders in the party 70 percent at the max level so that helps you level up those commanders through doing uh barbarians and whatnot uh you can level those commanders up quite fast and it's pretty effective and then his last skill is an additional healing factor upon leaving battle and that's the last one that we're going to max out and we get an expertise so when we leave battle it's going to go from 800 to 1000 however with expertise it's actually going to go from 1000 to 2000 and that is really important for uh certain events i believe it's the clarion call event where you're staying out fighting uh barbarians non-stop so we're going to go ahead and finally max him out upgrade successful and we will unlock that expertise right here guys oh yeah expertise attained our third maxed out commander on skills very happy about that i'm running him on a nice peacekeeping uh slash support build right now uh He's also really good for farming when you're doing Barbarians. Uh, you get resource packs after defeating these, those Barbarians. Uh, we also do reduce the action points so you can do more Barbarians. Uh, increase the experience obtained so you actually get up to 85%. And then increase skill damage to Barbarians and normal attack damage. And then we got uh, just to increase our rage a little bit. That way those skills go off a little bit more. Uh, increase troop speed when we uh depart i just had to get that up to get the rejuvenate up instantly rejuvenates 150 rage whenever his skill is used that will just keep him using his skills we get a healing effect by nine percent and a nice uh attack increase as well in there so that's how i'm running my lohar right now it's been pretty effective i wouldn't mind getting uh like the mighty force skill up for rallies like when i'm rallying but i, I kind of like this build quite a bit and it's been pretty good for me so that's lohar uh and he's super important again for leveling up those commanders and getting lots of experience mine's out gathering right now so we'd hit some barbarians but that's okay no big deal we could take a look at reports and you can kind of see let's see we got right here uh you see right there level 20 you get 4.4 4.4 uh for each commander compared to like a level 23 without Lohar in there, they're only getting 3.1k experience. So you can see the big boost in experience right there, if that makes sense for you. So use your Lohar, use him with a commander you want to level up, go out, hit those level 25 barbarians, and you'll have a great time. But let's go ahead and start popping some chests, guys. I'm really excited to see if we can get some great commanders unlocked today. So real quick, before we do start popping those chests, uh, we have our Joan, who is really close. We are uh, two skills away from maxing our Joan. Uh, I believe our Luigi is really close, two skills away. Uh, so we, we got some potential to do some good things with these 55 chests. Let's go ahead and start it off. We'll start that free one opening up. There's two Jones. Speaking of Jones, there we go. Two Jones to start. There's a Luigi also. Let's go. Oh, that's that's beautiful. With some Belisarius. That's 10 of him. Uh, some Sun Tzu. That's a nice start to the openings. Lancelots. We don't need any more Lancelots. Mehmed. Two Mehmeds. That's awesome. Uh, Scipio. My Scipio's maxed out now, so I guess I don't need him. I, I, I used to really get excited for the Scipios, but we don't need him. More Lancelot. Sun Tzu. Uh, there's some good stuff. We are getting some nice chess opening to start. Uh, Dazzling Starlight. Brand new Starlights. 
Let's keep it going. Pelagius, we need some Pelagius also. Those are all commanders we need to max out. Oh, Gaius, Marius. Oh, we get so many of the rare commanders and we just don't need them. Oh, some Osman I saw in there. Two Osman, which is nice. And the main goal is just to try to get as many skills as we can increase by doing these chest openings. So Osman, we get two right there. Ooh, five Julius Caesar. Let's go. This... This has been a nice little run right there. Five Julius Caesars, a bunch of tomes. Uh, we definitely need more tomes to level up our commanders. I need to get, like, uh, my Sao Sao. I call him Cow Cow, but I, I, I'm trying to be more proper for you guys. My Cow Cow, Sao Sao. I need to get him leveled up, and I need to get my Richard leveled up as well, uh, up to level 50. Those guys, oh, it just takes so much experience. Herman, I've been working on my Herman, actually. Uh, so that's good. Oh, Sarka, get out of my life, Sarka. Uh, let's keep it going. Let's keep getting those good opens. Oh, man. It's kind of going dry right here, guys. All right. We're going to hit confirm. We're going to go back out, and we're going to come back in. Let's open up these eight free silver. I guess they're not free, but these eight silver chests. Silver keys are a lot easier to obtain, obviously. There's Sarka, uh, some tomes. I actually, I need food, so I'm actually really happy with that. There was the uh, use training speed ups event going on, and I went pretty crazy on that. Uh, using all my training speedups, which burnt through all my food. So nothing really impressive there. Uh, real quick, I want to take a look at that and show you guys what I'm talking about. The training day event going on. Uh, you can get some nice epic and look at JC. Bring lube as JC. Uh, you can get some nice sculptures right there. Uh, so I wanted to get ranked up a little bit. Hopefully we get some gold and some epic sculptures in there, which would be nice. All right, let's get back into opening chests. Uh, but yeah, that's why I'm so low on food. I went all in, basically, on using all my training speedups. More Scipio that we don't need. Bay bars. We do need bay bars, which is good. Uh, Gaius and some wood. Boudicca's max. I would be excited about that, but our Boudicca's max, I wish... I just wish, like, you could trade in, like, the extra uh, sculptures for, like... Uh, just something like let me trade that in for food or gems or give me something for it look at all those tomes that's a lot of tomes but we need a legendary pool we haven't got a full legendary commander in a bit there's some bay bars uh dazzling every time i see a dazzling starlight i get so excited lancelot get out of my life lancelot uh dazzling, dazzling starlight herman a couple more herman in there we might be able to get a herman skill leveled up there's more herman five more hermans all right let's go out Ugh. All right, guys. Let's we we need these good pools. All right, Kinsonoki. I always butcher his name. Uh, mine. I don't really use him, and I don't really have him leveled up. But that'll give us ten sculptures for him, uh, which will take a couple more Osman there. That might give us an Osman skill. I don't remember how many sculptures we need for his next skill. Lancelot. Oh, Lancelot. Why do you do these things to me? And more. Oh, we got wooden food. But I, d I definitely need that food. Three tomes. That three 5,000 tomes is really good. All right, guys. Down to our last 20. Let's keep it going. Let's keep that momentum up. Oh, Bay Bars. Gaius. Some more tomes. Nice, nice. We'll take the tomes. Come on, guys. Oh, El Cid. Five El Cids. That's nice. Uh, we got some El Cid from when we did Mightiest Governor. Uh, to Mo, to May, to Mitchell. Uh, Boudica. I don't know how to say Tomo's name, like, at all. <laughs> Three Jones there. We almost have enough to get our Joan leveled up one more. Although, I haven't been using my Joan as much anymore. I, I really need to start using her. Sun Tzu, we need to get him up. He's getting pretty close to max as well. I think he's got, like, four more skills to go. There's more Osmond. They are giving us tons of Osmond today. Oh, Lancelot, get out of my life. I need that to be a legendary. There's Joan. That might be enough to get one of Joan's skills up. I don't know if it's 40 or 45. I don't remember. Let's just go for these last 10. We need a legendary commander. Come on, guys. Give us those golds. Pelagius getting a couple there. Osman, Circa. Oh, come on, guys. Give us something good. I don't. I feel like we got a lot of uh, purples, a lot of epics on this one. But not too many golds. Oh, cow, cow, sow, sow, Mitchell. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, my uh, sow, sow sculptures are already really, really beautiful. Or, uh, his skills are, rather. It's 5155 five, five, with the one being on the barbarian skill, the more damage to barbarians. So he's actually sick. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what we needed. That was a sick open right there, guys. A uh, couple more Boudicca's. That made it all worth it. Snoki again. We're getting more of him. Some more Dazzling Starlights. Oh, I'm so pumped up about that open, guys. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's go check out and see uh, what skills we might be able to get up here. Uh, okay, there we go. We got Joan. 
We can get one more on Joan. We get her normal attack damage up to 25%. And I was running Joan with Boudica a lot, and I think I might go back to that. So we need one more skill to max out our Joan. We're getting a lot of these epics really close to maxed out. So one more skill for Joan. Uh, let's see, Herman. Uh, I just opened up his fourth, or yeah, his fourth skill there, uh, which the attack bonus and additional rage. Uh, so we'll get that up to level three. He's almost maxed out as well. Uh, let's see, Sun Tzu. He's four away. Oh, why not? For the video, we'll exchange these. We'll do it for the video. Get one of his skills up. There we go. Troop damage reduction by 6%. Increases infantry unit health. Okay, that's good. So he's four skills away from max. Uh, Luigi, he's got a little bit of work to do. We got quite a bit for him. Uh, Baybars, we did get a lot of Baybars sculptures. So my Baybars is kind of all over the place. I'm not in love with Baybars, but... Is okay. We get that first skill maxed out with a damage factor of 750 and a forward facing fan shape. Targeting three damage or three targets and get, reduces the current target's march speed, which is nice. That's actually a decent skill. I'm just not super in love with Baybars. We didn't get any Belisarius. We did get a couple else said, but probably, yeah, not even close to enough. Uh, could Snoki. Yeah, we got one for him. Nice. I got to get him leveled up, though. I just did enough to get his next two skills unlocked. Uh, that way, when we get enough, we can get him up. But not bad at all, guys. I think that's going to be pretty much it. Oh, no, we'll have an Osman one. Actually, we could get Osman's first skill maxed out. Oh, just kidding. Uh, why not? We'll do it for the video. We'll max him out for the video. We'll max that first skill out. And then we can kind of go ahead and uh, we'll use some of those tomes we got. Let's go ahead and get him i guess i should, probably shouldn't have done that way oh well all right that'll work out and we can get him going up we'll develop auto add develop that should unlock his next two skills right there yeah there we go nice two skills unlock what are his next two skills so his first one is uh the sword of osman a massive damage factor of 850 which isn't too bad after attacking a city for more than 30 seconds uh troop attack increased by five percent for two minutes that's not bad at all and an additional damage factor not too shabby um the sword of osman goes up for him so a pretty nice opening i don't think we have close to it eh, well, we're not far off but here's what i was talking about with my uh south out here uh, we got the dragon rider skill maxed out the tiger knight which is the cavalry skill and the healing factor maxed out and then my level one is the damage to barbarians so i got him like perfect for pvp uh, but at some point, we're going to need to get him going up so we can get that uh, expertise unlocked. And our Richard, our Richard's actually getting pretty close. I'm pretty much putting all my gold sculptures into Richard right now because he's such a good PvP commander. So uh, we're two skills away from getting Richard maxed out. That's pretty sweet. And I think what we're going to do in the next video, which will be out in a couple days, I think we're going to go and do... Uh, some campaign, some expedition stuff, and try to finish off these expeditions. We have five left, and I think we're going to try to finish those bad boys off. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy about that opening. We got a lot of stuff we needed. That, that was good stuff. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.